So we finally got some of grandma's truck back to the place here. And as you can tell, we've kind of been busy with projects and a whole bunch of junk, but now that it's here, I'm hoping I can bring you guys a little bit more regular content on the truck here. So if you enjoy the content, I'm gonna try and bring this thing back to life. Think about subscribing. And I got a couple clip it's for you of us trying to get all this stuff ready. We're gonna be trying to get all this stuff onto that frame there. And then we're gonna be bringing it down. So it's chilly, a little bit of snow. I think we're gonna start with the box and hopefully be able to pull all this stuff off of here. So it should be pretty interesting. All right, so there's the bed. It's held on with about four bolts. A couple in each of the corners there. And now we gotta keep on cracking. Part went pretty quick. Great. Well, we got the running boards off. Those are kind of a pain. They're sitting on top of the box now. And they just had a bunch of mounts on each of the three brackets that we had. There was two apiece. Luckily for me, half of them are broken or able to snap off easy. So now time to work on the cab mounts. So that is kind of what happened here. So that last not snap there. We were thinking about getting the cab on here, but then our towing rig wasn't rated for very much weight. So we kind of wanted to play it safe rather than bring all the sheet metal back. And this should be plenty of stuff to start with anyway. So I'm gonna be working on the box here pretty soon. I wanna be pulling all these panels off and they're pretty beat up. So as you can see, like torn right here, this was a farm truck. So this thing has dents everywhere. So I'm gonna beat out as many of the dents as I can. I do wanna keep it like as original as I can steel-wise, which I think would be really, really cool. Um, so I'm gonna try and do some welding on it and weld up what I can, save what I can, all that stuff. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Um, but lots of work to be done here. The inside here is like completely rusted out. So I'm kind of worried once I start grinding what I'm gonna find that's actually gonna be good metal or whatnot. So we'll see about that. Then the other stuff that I can do is I wanna go ahead and get Mounts all set up for an LS, so I want to eventually get an LS engine and plop that on in there. I think that'd be super duper cool. And then I want to get the steering all set up, the brakes all set up, hopefully get the exhaust all set up through the back there. And then I want to crack open that differential and see if that's still okay. Hopefully it is. Spun just fine on the way down. So hopefully this differential is just fine. There's the uh, tailgate I pulled off that other truck if you guys have watched that other video. And this is off of a, so this is a 52 Chevy that we're pulling all the stuff off of. This frame is off of a 55. And I do believe when I was pulling this off, it was more narrow than the frame off of the 52. So I don't know if that's gonna cause any problems. The cab mounts, which are like under the box right now, appear to be in the same place though, as they were on the 55. So I don't know if that's gonna cause any problems. We'll get to that when we get there though. And then the other thing is, I know people are probably wanting me to keep it original, but I do want to actually drive this thing. And I think I would love to make it my daily driver in the summer. So I want a reliable engine. So I want to do the LS in the front. I think that would be super duper great. The uh, like Mustang two suspension. I believe this is all off a of Nova though, all this front. Um, the front end's all off a of Nova. And then it's welded up onto the 55 frame. So the 55 frame was cut, and then this is Nova frame. And then this is just a 350 mounting here. So I should be able to put an LS in here with some brackets, and I know they have other stuff there. And then I'm gonna try and save as much sheet metal as I can. So these are real rotted through. So I don't know if I'm gonna to have to cut down the whole entire side and try and save some, but I am gonna try and save as much as I can. So that's kind of what we have for you. Now that it's here in my garage, I mean, I have some other projects cooking and stuff, but now that it's here, I'm gonna be able to bring you guys a little bit more content. Eventually, we're gonna get some sort of power plant for this thing, but I mean, we're a ways off of that. I gotta get the frame cleaned up. I gotta get the brakes all situated. I gotta get that front all situated. Um, the box, I'll have plenty of sheet metal work to do in the meantime. And then once winter is over, we're planning on bringing the rest down and hopefully this thing will be set up to plop the cab on and to plop the front on. So. That's kind of the plan with this one. So if you guys like the content, think about subscribing and uh, hopefully you can get my grandma's truck going again.